like if you can nail a hook on a pop tune, that you know, that it just doesn't get any better. Well, that answers my question because when I look at your career, I, I think of you, when I met you, you were at the uh, Jazz Festival. I want to come back to jazz in just a minute. And then I listened to your own records and those are all, I'm going to call those all pretty rock. But then I yeah. look at all these hits you're on and they are all right down in that pocket of mainstream pop, pop tunes. Yeah. So I was going to, I was going to ask you if you had a favorite and it sounds like the pop, you gravitate towards the pop, but you love, well, I, you love I, all I of do, it. I mean, I, I got to say, I, I'm a rocker at heart. And like a lot of guys, I got into funk and jazz. I mean, I went to Berkeley a couple of years and, and like the year when I was 18, the year before I went to Berkeley, I got intensely interested in how do you play jazz? And, and I started studying with this great uh, teacher on Long Island that, that was actually so good at taking guys that were like good rock players and exposing them to, you know, what you play on changes and what you play on a, on a, jazz standard and stuff like that and so um that became a love of mine too but i can always tell in in someone's playing what their first love was you know right, right. There, there's jazzers or people that that were that's what drew them in that end up playing rock but it, it's a different thing when when you're you know just when it's in your blood yeah. 